Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Some of you may be dealing with a friends with benefits situation. Um, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Virgo. Or if you are dealing with a Virgo, you can see if these messages resonate as well. Take which side resonates. Um, energies can be interchangeable because this is a general reading. Okay. So I'm going to look at you and your person. Virgo, Virgo, you may feel like you're dealing with a like super one-sided situation that could be frustrating for you. Um, you may be in separation with someone, but you can still feel their energy or you feel like a very strong pull towards this person, Virgo. Um, you may want to have a conversation with this person or they may, I'm getting this is their energy. They may want to have a conversation with you but it's like they're struggling to find the right words to say to you. They may know that they pissed you off in some way or um, not, I'm hearing maybe not give you some sort of clarity on something. They could have just ghosted or something like that. And so now they're struggling to find uh, the right words to say to you. But let's take a look. So let's start with you, Virgo, on Virgo side. You may be trying to follow your intuition when it comes to this person. Um, even though you may miss them or, um, I'm getting you really like this person's smile. Um, there's something about, yeah, you're very attracted to this person. You may keep tabs, um, keep tabs on them online or something like that. But I'm getting like a uh, very seven of wands energy. Like you're standing your ground. You're, you're not going to be the one to, uh, reach out first is what I'm getting. Let's, uh, look at your person. Yeah, your person could be blocked, Virgo. Either they blocked you or you blocked them, Virgo, or the communication is just off, I'm getting. Um, there could have been some sort of gossip, some sort of gossip that happened or altercation that happened in this connection. I feel like this person is coming to a space of getting ready to take a leap of faith and open up in this connection. What's the mutual energy? Someone here is scared of what other people will think about your connection. Um, scared of what other people will think about your connection. Interesting. But they know that you guys have something special. You have something special with this individual. Um, yeah, it's a true love connection, true love relationship. Yeah. See, and this is exactly what I was feeling. You can still feel each other's energy. Or they're still feeling your energy and really wanting to reach out. So let's take a look a little bit further with the tarot. Um, Virgo, see what's going on with this Virgo. Okay, so on your side, there's definitely an energy here of really just trying to follow your intuition or even if it's hard for you to do, you're just listening. It's like you may feel like something is off or you may feel like this person uh, isn't being fully honest with you and whatever that is that your intuition is telling you is correct is what I'm getting. What are you thinking about Virgo? Ten of Pentacles. You're thinking about a commitment though. Ten of Pentacles. Um, you're thinking about, wow, Knight of Pentacles. The moon. There's a lot of confusion surrounding this person maybe taking action or pursuing you um, and being in a commitment. Okay, I feel like this is something that you're definitely looking for is this Ten of Pentacles energy. And there's confusion surrounding maybe why this person is taking so long or why things move so, so slow or why things transpire the way that they did. You're showing up here as being really stressed out, anxious, um, having a hard time sleeping due to an ending with this person. Could be dealing with an air sign, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or this is just the energy that they have. They're coming off very emotionally detached, okay? So there's you have a lot of confusion um, surrounding what happened um, or what's going on in this connection. How do you feel towards this person, Virgo? Ace of Wands. Very passionate towards this person. Um, it's like you want to take action towards them, Knight of Swords. But you definitely feel kind of caught up, stuck in your head. You are definitely holding back and follow, following your intuition and doing so. And that's what I was feeling. So fighting the urge is what I'm hearing. 
Um, but you feel like you want a new beginning with this person. You could be dealing with a fire sign, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Pisces is here as well. How do you view your person, Virgo? How do you view your person? Five of Pentacles. Damn. So you view this person as maybe they left you out in the cold or you had to leave them out in the cold. Somebody here <clears throat> got rejected is what I'm getting. Okay, let's take a look at your person. What are they? And again, switch the roles um, however you need to, however it resonates with your situation. Okay. What is your person thinking about when it comes to your connection? Six of Swords, Seven of Wands, King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Um, this is a lot of fire, uh, Leo, Sag, Aries, but this person wants to move to calmer waters, but there's an energy here of really standing their ground, very defensive, kind of pushing you away. They could be at a distance from you or they could travel, I'm getting, with the Six of Swords. Okay, let's see. How do they feel towards Virgo? How do they feel towards Virgo? How do they feel? Eight of Wands. Okay, this person wants to move towards you. They want to communicate with you. But it's one of those energies where it's like, who's going to budge first is what I'm getting here. Um, but in their feelings, they want to move towards you. They want to open some sort of line of communication here. Knight of Cups, they want to offer you an apology. They want to offer you an apology, some sort of romantic gesture. Um, they want to pursue here in their feelings. They do have feelings for you, especially with the Knight of Cups. Okay, how do they view you, Virgo? How do they view you? Okay, you have the devil could be dealing with a Capricorn. You don't have to be. And the two of swords. <laughs> and the three of cups. Okay, so they view you in a light where what I'm getting with this is you maybe overthink things. Okay, maybe overanalyze things um, to a fault is what I'm getting with this. And that's how they view you in that light. Um, you may have blocked this person out, actually, if they view you that way. You may have left this person out in the cold and that's why you're viewing them that way. Okay, but they want to have some sort of reconciliation here. They're wishing for that. What's the mutual energy <laughs> Here, um, you guys definitely have a special connection. It is showing up as a true love connection. What's the mutual energy? Three of Swords. There's pain, heartbreak, disappointment here. Um, and your mutual energy. Damn. What's the blockage here? What's the challenge? Temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, also, patience. Okay, balance. Balancing this connection out. Someone has one foot in, one foot out in this connection, all right? What's the outcome? What's the outcome? Queen of Swords in reverse. Someone's getting cut off, you guys. If you haven't already cut this person off, someone's getting cut off, but still, see, but, but with regret. I feel like um, you have the hangman, that's Pisces energy, and the Five of Swords. But what I instantly felt with this is someone's getting cut off, but then it's like, regret and still holding on or still wanting to put an effort into this connection so wanting a victory here someone's doing a lot of shadow work i'm getting okay um you're definitely showing up as wow this is a very strong connection could be with um someone an aries someone uh who's a bit older than you i'm getting a very masculine dominant energy here uh could be in military a boss something like that entrepreneur But there's a lot of confusion surrounding what direction to go in. It's like you may feel like you're at a crossroads um, between being single and taking action towards this person, moving towards this person. Okay, so I do see that here. All right, so let's see what else comes out here for Virgo. There's going to be some sort of unexpected, um, unplanned event between you and this person, okay? Unexpected, unplanned events here happening. So let's see, on your side for Virgo, yeah, it's like you and this person just get each other. I feel like, yeah, someone got ghosted. <laughs> and I felt that actually very strong. You, Someone may have gotten ghosted here. But I feel like you feel like this person, you guys 
have a very easygoing connection. Like you can finish each other's sentences. It's not something that you have to um, force to happen. Like it just comes effortlessly is what I'm getting uh, with this person that you're dealing with, okay? They may make you act out of character though, I feel. Um, this person <laughs> may make you act out of character at times. Let's look at your person's side. Yeah, they have a lot of anxiety surrounding uh, your connection right now, which is interesting because so do you. Um, so do you. But there's anxiety and worry surrounding being in separation, okay? And if you guys will be able to come out of that. What else on their side? This person, you make this person feel safe. You guys may have started off as friends before it turned into anything more. Um, someone here is running. This person may have ran from your connection because it is so intense. Yeah, with the especially with the breakup card here. This is a soulmate connection, guys. This is a very deep connection. Um, you both will learn and grow a lot together. This would be a perfect life partner, but they, they don't have to be, right? Um, you could feel like there's a lot of highs and lows in this connection. Someone could be very passionate and fiery one moment and distant and disconnected the next, okay? And what that is telling you or what that is showing you, it represents unhealed aspects that both of you guys need to work through, the triggers that come up with that, okay? So let's continue for Virgo. Let's take a look and see what else for Virgo. Virgo, Virgo. Yeah, see, someone's making an apology. Um, which is interesting because they have the Knight of Cups in their feels. So this person is going to be coming forward with some sort of apology. Okay, they had a change of heart. Patience is required in this connection. The gates of love are open. Ah, so, I mean, I don't know if you guys want this or not, but it makes me excited for you because someone here that you feel a deep connection with that may have ghosted you or you had to ghost them or however it worked out for you, it'll be different for everyone. This person's going to come back and apologize to you. Okay, um, let's see what they want to say to you, Virgo. What does this person want to say to you? I feel like uh, someone here may be very focused on work um, and finances, and that may create some sort of blockage or obstacle in this connection as well. That's what I feel. Okay, what do they want to say to Virgo? Could be dealing with a Scorpio, because I just heard Scorpio. I want to be more than friends. Yeah, for some of you, this started off as like a friendship. I knew exactly what I was doing. I lost myself for a little while because they were not available. I love you. What is this? It was my fault, but I blamed you. All right, so interesting. Um, let's see what else comes out for this person. Virgo. What else can you tell me about this connection for Virgo? Yeah, you had some sort of intervention from your guides, okay? And that's why as, and on your guys' side, it was saying, listen to your intuition, you're correct, okay? So you may have had an, an inner knowing that the separation happened for a reason, okay? Um, this person just wanted to keep their options open at the time. There's a lot of differences between the two of you. I feel like your person thought that they were saving you from them because they weren't in a space to really give you your 10 of pentacles or give you your their all. I feel like you guys may have been very open and honest about what it is that you were looking for. And this person, it may have intimidated them a little bit. Okay, so for some of you, this person may have been dealing with another person at the time and so they decided to cut it off so th that's something that's showing up here as well okay um let's see virgo let's see what else let's pull a few more cards and then we'll do cards of advice and then we will wrap it up virgo what's coming in for virgo that they need to know about virgo what do they need to know about for virgo sun moon rising and venus Okay, some of you may be traveling. Um, ooh. Okay, so you may have found out that someone was in another commitment or something like that. I feel like even if it wasn't another commitment, you may have felt like this person was deceiving you in some type of way and it rubbed you the wrong way, okay? 
I feel like you're definitely dealing with somebody who's very mature. There could be an age difference between the two of you, but this person is getting to a space where they want to make you like their main person. I'm seeing roses, red roses specifically. Um, so that may be a thing between the two of you. I feel like uh, I'm also seeing cherry blossom trees. So springtime may have been uh, something significant in your guys' connection. Okay. Uh, I feel like books as well, like maybe this person likes to read a lot or you like to read a lot. That's showing up here as well. And I see a globe. So again, with the distance, somebody may travel or something like that. Or they may be at a distance from you. Yeah. See, this person wants to offer you some sort of gift. Okay. Because they're really in a space of feeling like they missed an opportunity with you. Okay. Yeah. You're going to receive some sort of message and gift from this individual. Okay. So let's Let's look at uh, your advice, Virgo. What's your advice for Virgo? What is your advice? Go outside. This is a popular card today. <laughs> Go outside. Make sure you're getting fresh air. Enjoy um, being outside. There's some sort of miracle. So expect a miracle. I feel like you guys are going to... You guys aren't expecting this to happen. I feel like this is going to happen when you least expect it. They're saying have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. Okay, so also Undying Love is here at the bottom. I'm seeing a lot of babies too. So there may be a baby involved, a pregnancy, something like that. Because um, I'm seeing a lot of babies here. But that won't be for everyone. So the love you have shared is eternal regardless of the situation. And I just heard, and you're being rewarded for that. Okay, so you're being rewarded for um, having unconditional love. Okay, so that is what I have for you, Virgo. I hope that was helpful. I hope that brought you some clarity to your situation. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.